Hi there. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use Ionic 4 with Vue.js. So since the release of Ionic 4, we're able to take advantage of the flexibility of the framework. This has spawned multiple iterations such as Ionic View, Ionic React, and others. In this article and video, we'll be focusing on how to get started with both Ionic 4 and Vue.js. So this article can be found over at ionicworkshop.com. I'll put the link to this inside of the description. And if we scroll down, you can see the first step is to ensure that we have node.js installed on our machine. You can install node by heading over to node.js.org. Then you can run node-v and npm-v inside of your terminal to check that it installed correctly. Next, we have to install the Vue CLI. So let's go ahead and switch over to our terminal now for the rest of this video to install a Vue CLI and create our first Ionic 4 project. So let's run npm install at view slash CLI dash G. I already have this installed on my machine, so I don't need to do that. But if you haven't got it installed, go ahead and do that globally. Now, you can check to see whether it installed correctly with view dash V. Let's now use the view CLI to create a new project called view Ionic. And it looks like I need to update my CLI. For now, we'll simply just hit the default options. And so we'll go ahead and initialize a new view project. As you can see, it's creating a Git repository, installing the CLI plugins, and then creating our app. Okay, then once that has fully installed, we can run cd view dash ionic. And right now we have a Vue.js project, but we don't have Ionic inside of it. So we need to run npm install at ionic slash view at ionic slash core and view router. Hit enter to install these inside the project. Now we can open up our project inside of Visual Studio Code. Run code space dot and then run npm run serve. What this will do is open up the project inside of VS Code and then inside of the browser. You can now see that our application is running on localhost 8081. This will be 8080 for you, but I already have an application running on that port. So let's open up this in the browser. The next key section is to import Ionic View from Ionic View and register this inside of our main.js. This will register Ionic View as a component and give us access to use the Ion, Ion toolbar. Inside the toolbar, we'll have an Ion title, the title of which will be Ionic and View. We can set the color equal to primary inside of the toolbar. And underneath the header, we can have an ion content. Ion content is where we put all of the content of our Ionic application. Think of this as below the header and above the footer. Inside of the content, we'll have an ion card, an ion card header. Inside the header, we'll have an ion card subtitle. The subtitle will say Ionic and view is and thing. We can continue to add components such as ion card content. Maybe make a paragraph that says hello, Ionic and view. And as you can see, this will update and give us the ion card content. So that's essentially how to get up and running with Ionic and view. Don't forget that you can see the article for this video over at ionicworkshop.com and check the description. I'm also excited to announce my new book, Learn Ionic 4 from Scratch. You can find that over at leanpub.com slash learn Ionic 4 from scratch. It allows us to create performant cross-platform applications with Angular, Vue.js, and React. So this is entirely with Ionic. 
but we're using the variety of different libraries and frameworks to create different applications that you can use to accelerate your web development career. You're happy to use any of these projects inside of your portfolio, so it's a win-win for you. You learn new things and you get to demonstrate what you've done. Currently, it's sent at 124 pages, but there's much more to come. Like I said, this is an early access and we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. You can find the link to this and the link to Ionic Workshop inside of the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe for more free content. I'll see you later.